recording. Hello and welcome to Bachata Yoga. I am Lindsay with Lindsay Michelle. We'll get you started today in a cross-legged position. So grab yourself a glass of water and we'll meet on the mat. So grab a sip of that. Let's just begin by crossing the legs, keeping nice seat on the floor, and just rocking left and right, lifting the flesh from underneath the seat, and just rubbing the tops of the thighs, the shins, and then placing the palms face up or face down, just opening the knees, closing the eyes. If you'd like to switch the legs to the side that's not your dominant side, go ahead and do so now to challenge the brain and release. Sink in deep through that root chakra, through the tail, through the seat, into the earth. It's just breathing through the nose. Open the mouth and jaw the mouth. Into the nose. And ha out. Release any tension in the eye sockets. Release the eyes from the eye sockets. Shoulders, let it fly down. Release the jaw and the wrists and the neck and shoulders. Just sink in and arrive to the class today. To this moment. We're going to lift the legs and scoop those arms underneath the chin and the shoulders down, letting the head hang. Breathing again, sinking deeper into the posture. Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. One more breath. And then slowly when you're ready to come up, let's come to butterfly. Arms and feet together. And On the inhale, walk the hands out a little further, letting the head hang. Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. And slowly walk. Grabbing the chin, letting the right ear guide itself toward the right shoulder.
Let's go ahead and send the legs out in front of us. I need to do this one. So the hands are behind you, lift the hips up. Hang on to the belly. We're going to take baby cobra. So just roll the shoulders up. Placing your forehead on the mat, roll the shoulders, clasp the hands behind you, and then flutter kick the legs. Hold close the right arm, take the right leg. Into half frog. Breathe in, let me grab the edge of the spot. The right leg and the left. One more moment, just getting that left hip sinking. Rolling the shoulders, clasping the palms, rising up, lifting the legs, flutter kicking the legs. And please pressing through tabletop cat and cows here, just warming up the spine. And when you're ready, come back to neutral knees wide, toes together, hips towards heels, standing into extended child's pose. Release the tongue from the lip of the mouth.
knee shall rise up. Tuck your toes, send the hips to the sky, down with the bone, and exhale. Inhale, step the right foot deeply, the hands to the fingers. Exhale, down with the bone, other side. Just warm your body. Right side again. This time for the twist. And then the back straight legs. And down with the bone, left foot. Twist. And straighten legs. Down with facing dog, extended child's pose, untuck the toes, send the hips toward the heels. Hands can come on the low back. Walking the hands up. Rise up. Let's come to broken toe here. Tuck the toes under into the seat. Just stretching out, warming up those feet. But to do this after dancing as well, we can do it as a preparatory pose today. And as we feel ready, walk the hands out, tap the toes. And take it one more time. Tuck the toes, bring the hands to the thighs. And walk it out. Tuck the toes. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Walk the hands toward the heels. Palms under heels, coming into gorilla. Nodding the head, yes, shaking it, no. Nodding it, yes, shaking it, no. Release the neck. Release the hands. Walk them over to the right. And to the left. And to the right. And to the left. And rise up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, let's draw that right knee into the chest. Gain your balance first. Palms to heart center, close the eyes first, gain the balance. When you're ready, draw the knee toward the chest. Send the leg out. Knee to chest. Release the other side. Knee to chest. Send the leg out long. The chest. Release. Let's just go ahead and turn around. We're going to take that knee to the chest again. Instead of kicking it out forward, we're going to bring it. We're going to kick it out behind us in order to come to warrior three and then step down into our high lunge and then open up into warrior two, reverse your warrior and come through to side angle and rise up. Rotate forward, step the right foot to meet the left and forward fold gorilla. And release the hands, roll well, up one bit of the time, inhale, extend the mouth. And exhale there. Regain your footing. Breathing, breathing, breathing. And when you're ready, all the way up to the right foot, all walking into the chest. And send it back in, into your work. Three. And when you arrive, send it down into your high lunge. Excuse me, speak up. I'll leave the balance. Left arm up for your two. Flip the palm reverse. Side angle. And rise. Rotate. Left foot meets right. Reach forward. This time, let's. Separate the feet and grab the elbows, nodding the head, yes, shaking it, no. Nodding it, yes, shaking it, no. Release the hands, grab the calves, pull the torso toward the legs. 
Roll the shoulders, clasp the fingers, send the hands up and overhead. And drop those hips down. Up. Excellent. Pull the toes. Feel to the feet together. Palms underneath bottoms of feet. Nodding your head. Yes, shake my mouth. Nodding, yes, shake my mouth. Before we come into our dancing, we're going to take pigeons. So I'm just going to step my feet back into downward facing dog. Send my left leg to the sky. Draw the knee to the nose as I arch my back, as I cap my spine essentially, rocking my shin, my ankle, my foot left and right. And then bringing my left knee to my left elbow, slide that foot on back, rise up. Release the crown kind of for a moment. And just give in to the posture here, relaxing, releasing. Sinking deeper and deeper into your position, into your posture. And that left hip, breathing. And the any sticky spot. Just a few more moments here, sinking deep in the head, breathing, being aware that it's normal if any emotions arise during this posture, that's completely normal. Breathing and letting go. Last breath. And rise up. Tuck your toe. Draw the knee to the chest. Open that up. One flow. Walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, Send that right leg to the sky. Need a nose. Cat the spine. Rock it. Right knee to right wrist, slide the back leg back. Tend the fingers, arch the spine on the inhale.
Feel this the tongue coming out of the mouth. Breathing it out here. And on the inhale, rise up. Up the back toe, send that right leg to the side, forward back. And take the flow once more. And one little bit of a time. Walk the hands out, drop the knees, take your extended child's pose and rest for a moment. So how do you take that right leg forward? Send the hips forward and inhale. Excellent. Flatten the torso. Pull the leg. And right leg. Let's switch left. Inhale. Hips around. We're going to begin to dance. So I will show you the basic steps and we will dance to the beat of music. So go ahead and stand up. Grab a sip of water and chew on the mat. Okay, so we're going to dance to the basic steps of bachata. I'm going to get a weight change between the feet. So let's put the hands on the hips and just drop the right hip and left. And just walk. Feeling the mat on the floor beneath your feet. Let's go ahead and step together toward the right and release the hands. And then switch to going across the mat the other direction. So this is the way we can go side to side. And then keep the motion going side to side. Again, pushing off of the floor to set the feet together and to the other side. Back to the center. Let's go ahead and rotate. Another the way we can do this is going forward and back. So we can step our feet and we push off the back foot. We can bring the foot forward and go back and forward and back. And back. Forward. And stop in the middle. So we just did three things there. We were in place. We went side to side. And we also went forward and we went back. So we have all the motions. So there's a four count here in this dance. So if we're in place, we're gonna step on the right foot, right, left, right, tap. We pick up that foot again and go left, right, left, tap. Again, right, left, right, tap, left and left. Right, left, again, and right, left, right, and left, right, left, good. So we can take that same motion and bring it side to side. So let's try that. So we're pushing off the standing foot and stepping on the right foot first. So right, together, right, tap, left, and left, together, left, tap, right, 
right together, right tap, left and left together, left tap, right. Take the same thing forward and back. So we'll begin on that right foot again, going forward. I'll scoot back a little bit. So we're gonna go step together, step, tap, step back and left, step together, step and drop and one. Good. So the counting goes like this. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, tap, four, five, six, seven, tap, eight. We don't always count the top, so it would be one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Beautiful. Let's um, choose a bit of a slower song here before we begin, and I will guide you through the motions. We're starting place. One, two, five, six, seven. Here we go. And step, 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 tap, and step. Step. Keep it going. Good. If you want to add some arms, we can do it here. Let's take it up for eight. Here it goes. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five. Bring it down. And one. Keep it going here. We're going to take it side to side. Here we go. Five. To the right. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five. Let's move the arm. Step together, step, tap. The hands can be 90 degrees. One, two, three, and five. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and a one. Good. Step to the other side. Step to the other Step to the other side. Let's see a little faster here. A little bit. We're gonna do it one arm at a time here. Starting on the left side of your mat. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, take it down. Right arm. Yeah. 
Good. All right. And five. Good.
turn. We're gonna go front and back and front. Keep going. Rest there, grab some water. Good. Let's begin by taking some side stretches and then taking bigger four. So just press the weight into your left leg, glide your weight into your right, and then switch. Right in. Bring the weight to the center. Let's take one hand here. And exhale. Just rock the weight on each foot. Okay. And then let's do a little hula hoop action. Let's make sure we massage through all parts of the feet, feeling nice and grounded, and then come the other way. And then bring the weight into that left foot. So lift up the left toe, separate the toes, dropping the big toe down first, and the second, third, fourth, fifth toe, coming onto the ball of the foot, rolling out the ankle in one direction and then the other. Lift the toe, start with the pinky and go down toward the big toe. Again, lift the heel, and the other way. And bring the weight into that foot, draw the right, Get me into the chest, cross for figure four. Press into the bottom foot to rise and knee to chest and lie down. Shake out the left foot. And the right foot, go ahead and come on to the ball of the foot, rolling out the ankle in one direction and the other. Good. And then lift the toes, pressing the big toe down, second foot into four. And lift the toes and the pinky down. And go ahead and bring the weight into the right foot. Draw the left knee to the chest. Squeeze the abdominals. Flex the foot. Come to your figure four. Squeeze the abdominals. Press into the bottom foot. Rise up. Knee to chest. Release. Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and try a few things here. Again, coming into warrior three, uh, with the right leg lifted and the left foot planted. So plant the left foot, right knee to chest, send it back out behind you, and then open the hands. And then come into half moon, and then revolved half moon. So back through center, and twist. 
and release. Other side, shake it out. Off the end of the chest. And side back. And Inhale and rotate. And back to center. Knee to chest. And check it out. Good. Let's come into chair pose with the toes. Check that you can see the toes and hold it down here. Lift the heels, come on to the balls of the feet. And stay here. Rise, draw the left knee into the chest. Bring it back into your high lunge on the right. And inhale the arms up. Keep them down again into your prayer. Sink deeper and hook that left elbow over the right. Open and bind. Cartwheel the hands down, downward facing dog. And set the left foot through. Come into your high lunge. Rise up. Inhale. Exhale, prayer. Take another inhale. Lean forward and twist. Look. Open. Fly the arms. Rotate. Bind. And cartwheel the hands down the facing dog. And drop to the knees and swivel the legs around. And send the legs up. Go ahead and come on to the elbows. And we're just going to take the right knee into the chest for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Switch. Eight, seven, six, four, four, three, two, one. Good. Both knees in and send them both out and in. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to the back. Send the legs to the sky. Flex the feet and toes. Rotate out into a first position, draw the knees together, and then open, point the toes and open the legs. Exhale, flex and crisscross, send them out. Flex, crisscross, send them out. And flex, crisscross, send them out. And flex, crisscross, and send them out. And draw the knees, bottoms of the feet together, knees wide, butterflies. Go close the arms.
release the tongue from under the mouth. Pause there for a moment. Use the strength of the hands to draw the knees together. Extend the left leg long, send the right leg to the sky. And point the toe. Send the arms out wide, leg comes across the body for a twist. Gaze goes to the right, leg goes to the left. Slowly open the leg to the other side. And I'll just left leg cross the leg behind. And hands to the left. Send both legs to the sky. Or legs up the wall, just really feeling the hands from the calves, reaching toward those toes, maybe touching the wall. Breathing. Letting everything go. Release. Breathe upon it, turn it slowly, and begin to make circles with the legs. And pause, and then we're ready to come to shoulder stand. And then let the legs fall over. Here for another moment. And get ready and rise the legs back up, roll down, and then come to fish pose. So legs are in front of you, elbows behind, and then let the head hang. 
Then release the elbows long, drawing the right knee in to the chest. When you're relieving pose, bring it out to the right, grabbing the right forearm, drawing it in toward the rib cage. Rinsing between the organs, the digestive system. Rocking between the two legs, just rocking the feet. Let's take banana asanas across the right ankle over the left. Bring the hands above the head, grab the right wrist and left hand. Stay there for a moment. Good. And release and other side. And if you have some pillows, you can bring that to the bottom of your mat. Do your shavasana, maybe grab a little sip of water, pour it down. Good. Try on your side and roll. Kind of support yourself with the pillow. If you have a blanket, it's fine too. You can take the blanket and stand close down. Everything go. Sink deeper into your mat, into the earth, letting the earth support you where you are, support where you are loved. This is where you like it better.
Deixa aqui na mão. You can begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Breathe in. Join the knees and roll it down to one side. Pausing the transition. And when you're ready, rise up. Legs. Opposite leg. Opposite thighs. Make sure you right here to the edge. Take your shoulder. Just like your leg. Keep your eyes on your palms. Your hands are going to follow the words. The light inside of me sees, honors, celebrates, and joys of the world. It's a beautiful day for today. Look forward to seeing you again in class. Have a wonderful day.